Let's have a look at Sony's flagship Bravia models, the XBR9 and Z series television. Z series, like last year, very thin, sleek design. XBR9, beautiful styling, just unparalleled performance. Here's the agenda of what we're going to be looking at. Picture, beautiful Bravia 3 technology in terms of your picture quality. The XBR9 has the addition of the live color creation and the XV color with the better backlighting system. Sound with our great sound technology, connections, our eco story, and all these great connectivity features. But it all starts with the Bravia Engine 3. Every image that comes into your television is handled by the Bravia Engine 3, which works on the color, the resolution, the contrast, the motion, and the noise reduction to give you the centerpiece of that Bravia picture quality. But this is kind of abstract, so I'm going to try and pretend to be a Bravi Engine 3 in Photoshop to give you an idea of all the processing that's going on. Take this uh, picture here of my son skiing, and we're going to first we're going to adjust, and we're going to just do an auto color to try and get the colors better. And you can see right away we lose some detail in the white of the snow. So we want to uh, enhance the edges, the detail, and the contrast. So we can make our adjustments in terms of uh, brightness contrast here. And one of the things is, you know, as, as you work up the contrast, you lose detail in those dark areas. So it's a balance between improving the contrast and adjusting the brightness so that we can still get a nice high contrast image and not, not fade it out too much and just balance it uh, just right. So we'll get it something like that. Uh, we also want to make sure that you know we get rid of any uh, noise in the image. You can see here quite a bit. So with the filter here, we've got a noise filter, uh, and in this one, one of the things you notice is, you know, the more noise filtering you do, the softer the image gets. I'm just going to overdo it so you get the idea. But everything's a balance. So improving the image, the contrast, getting rid of the noise, all these things are something that, as we work on it. Uh, we can mess up the image as much as we can fix it. So every time a frame goes through the Bravi Engine 3, we do all these operations. We're cleaning the image. We're filtering the image. We're trying to improve the, the contrast. We'd never lose all the detail like I've lost here in the snow. We'd make sure the flesh tones are all really good, the skies, and, and if there were any grass, that kind of thing. That would all be enhanced. So the Bravi Engine 3 is doing an incredible amount of processing working on a full high definition picture every 60th of a second to create the best optimum image. So having a look at some examples, here's kind of a before and after. I was talking about the contrast. You can see how contrast can be enhanced while still maintaining a lot of detail in dark areas. In the same way with colors, keeping them from looking faded and washed out, and maintaining those nice subtle tones, vibrant colors, making it more lifelike. And finally, in terms of the detail, getting rid of the noise and enhancing those edges and things like the leaves, the fine detail, not losing that when we're doing all the other image cleanup. That's what the Bravi Engine 3 is all about, and it really provides superior picture quality. In addition, on the XBR9 set, we have the Live Color Creation and XV Color support to give you the absolute best in picture quality. And those are enabled by a few technologies. One of them is the backlighting system. If you look at the backlighting systems that we employ in our LCD TVs today, we have the RGB LED, so the triluminous of the XBR8, giving us the absolute peak of color reproduction. These little charts on the right are chromacity diagrams. And these colors display all the colors the human eye can see. And the little triangles show us how much can be recreated with these different lighting systems. We have the white LED, the edge lit lighting on our ZX series of televisions that allow us to get a really nice wider color, not quite as good as the RGB LED. And then the WCG CCFL that's used in the XBR9, so wide color gamut. If we look a little bit closer here, we can see how for the WCG CCFL, it really is almost equal to the RGB in the green color spectrum here, not not quite as far the uh, backlit LED in the yellow diagram here, but we get a really nice range of color that allows us to really be more accurate with our color reproduction. As well, both the Z and the XBR9 have a 10-bit panel, which allows us to, over a conventional panel with a conventional light source, 
give us a wider, more vibrant color range, and it also makes nice smooth transitions. Because of that 10-bit panel, it can make more colors, so 1,024 different slices instead of 256. Looking at it, what it looks like in blue, uh, we have it here, and you can see the, the difference there. If you look at this animation here, it's showing a concept we call judder. So when you don't have enough frames to represent the motion, the image seems to move in a jerky kind of fashion. The more frames you have, the smoother that motion becomes. So if we look at these images of soccer balls running at 60 frames per second, the soccer ball moves really far in a 60th of a second, and we get that judder effect. In addition, because the shutter's open for that 60th of a second, we will sometimes get a blur on the object because the ball physically moves while the shutter's open. So we get both blur and judder. So if you have a high-speed shutter or you do something like an image blur reduction, which we have the technology to do, you can get a sharper image between each frame, but you still get that judder because the ball moves quite a distance. With the image blur reduction and the addition of these additional frames, we get a beautiful, smooth motion, and that's what motion flow is all about. In addition, we're very sophisticated in terms of how we handle different kinds of content. So your regular video shot for the news and that kind of thing is 60 frames per second. So in that case, we add three frames between every original frame. But if the material is 24 frames per second that's been converted for broadcast over TV, we'll actually figure out what those original 24 of a second frames are and we will build nine brand new complete frames with smooth image blur reduction technology so that we have nine frames between every original frame giving you a fantastic picture. If you have a Blu-ray player with 24p direct input, we'll take another sophisticated technique and put in seven frames between because we have the original 24th of a second, we can be more accurate and get the exact cadence of the original material, giving you the best motion compensation technology available today. In addition, we've got the cross media bars been improved and made easier to use. Things like this scene select, you can see here, very graphic, easy to use. With the Photo TV HD, all the settings when you're watching pictures of your USB or DLNA are automatically adjusted for ultimate picture quality. The invisible speaker design delivers clear, pure sound while maintaining a beautiful appearance for the design of the TVs. With the digital amplification, we get S-Force front surround and a sound enhancer to improve the quality of the MP3s you're listening to. We have connectivity to watch pictures and music either through a USB key or over the network on DLNA. We have Bravia Sync, Internet Video, and Internet Widgets, all of which are covered in other videos in the Convergener site. Have a look for those. Finally, in our Eco story, we have Energy Star ratings, extra settings that you can change and tweak. Again, check those out in the Cross Media Bar video. In closing, picture quality is what Bravias are known for. Bravi Engine 3 technology, Motion Flow 240, the 10-bit panel. On the XBR9, we add the live color creation for a much wider color gamut, support for XV color used in all our Handycams, excellent digital sound, fantastic connections, the Eco story doesn't stop just at Energy Star certification, but reducing harmful chemicals in the manufacturing of our products and our televisions, and also making them able to be taken apart to be recycled at the end of their life. All of that is there in the Bravia. We have all the connectivity things we've been talking about, the Bravia internet widgets and the internet video, really great features. Make sure you watch the videos on those as well. Thank you for taking the time to look at this overview of the XBR9 and the Z series, and we look forward to talking with you again soon.